with Chase Family Boat Sales and the G3 Angler V19 SF. We opted to get this boat in a white package, sitting on a galvanized trailer and with an aluminum wheel upgrade. This boat is powered by a 200 horse Yamaha VMAX show outboard motor. It also has a 9.9 .9 Yamaha kicker motor on the back as well. Here at the back of the boat you can get a nice view of that 200 horsepower VMAX show outboard motor. The VMAX show line of motors from Yamaha is a little bit higher output motor. Gives you a little bit higher torque and a little bit higher top end. The higher torque results in a faster hole shot and just getting you up on plane a little bit quicker. On the other side of the motor we have a smaller 9.9 .9 horsepower kicker motor so that you can get out on the horsepower restricted legs without a problem. The 9.9 .9 kicker comes standard with an aluminum propeller and the VMAX show comes standard with a stainless steel propeller. Also over here you've got a swim platform so if the kids get antsy you can let them get out in the water and burn off some of that energy. Underneath you can see we have trailer straps attached to keep the boat safe as you're going down the road. Here at the side of the boat you can get a nice view of the raised graphics, G3 and uh, chrome lettering, as well as a Yamaha Boat Company sticker. G3 is a Yamaha owned boat company. The Angler V19 decal is raised off the body of the boat as well. And also you get a nice view of these aluminum upgraded wheels. Here at the front of the Angler package you have a standard 2 inch receiver hitch. You have a 5 pin adapter for plugging in your lights and a locking removable tongue. Everything from this point breaks away. You turn the key over here, pull that pin, and everything just slides right out. Over here, you've got an extra upgraded aluminum tire on a spare tire carrier. And up top here, we've got the Minn Kota Tarova 80 pound thrust trolling motor equipped with both foot pedal controls and eye pilot. Moving up into the boat now, here at the back of the boat, in the center here you have a smaller 15 gallon live well. This is coupled with a 20 gallon live well that is in the bow of the boat. We'll get to that in a bit. Here on opposite sides of the, the live well you have two seat based pedestals so that you can move one of your seats up onto this deck. And speaking of the deck, each of these two seats is a folding seat which becomes part of your fishing platform. The boat is equipped with vinyl flooring throughout on the surfaces which you will be walking on. Also underneath of each of the folding seats is a little bit of storage. This one is an empty storage box for whatever equipment you decide you want to place there. Underneath on this side, however, is your main battery for the main motor, your trolling motor, and all the electronics at the helm, which we'll get to here in a moment. Underneath this seat, you have a courtesy light so that you can turn it on if if it's dark out and you need to see where you're walking in the boat. Over here on the port side of the boat, you have a large locking storage compartment. This compartment is large enough that you can fit a couple rods if you want. However, it is meant primarily for tackle storage, equipment, and accessories. Here you've got a small flip out cup holder in case somebody's riding here in the bucket seat. Up here you've got a G3 branded mounting plate in, hooked into the rail that runs all the way around the boat. This uh, easily detaches, you just turn these knobs, slide it forward or back or take it out and move it to the bow depending on where you want it. This can be used to hold a rod holder or your navigation 
or a fish finder depending on how you want to set it up. Back here is your fuel fill. This is a simple screw on, screw off fuel fill and the boat has a 40 gallon gasoline capacity. Here at the helm of the boat you have a nice G3 custom steering wheel. This is an adjustable steering wheel. It raises up to that position and down as far as that position. Up on your gauge cluster you've got a speedometer, you've got a tilt trim gauge, you have a voltage meter, fuel gauge, and over here is your tachometer. Over here on the right you have all your switches for controlling your electronics in the boat, your courtesy light, the controls for the bow live well are here as well as the aft live well, bilge pump control, your nav and anchor light control, a master power switch to kill it all, and your horn as well. Up here on the dash area you have a small recess cutout for running wires for a fish finder or a nav or both. Uh, over here you have a small holder for a smartphone. You can slot it in there so that if you're using that for navigation it, it's held safely. Here you've got your control for the Jensen audio. There is a two speaker setup in this boat. Over here you have turnkey ignition for your main motor. The turnkey ignition for your 9.9 .9 kicker is actually down on the controls for that motor. Here next to the driver's seat you can see your controls for both of the motors. You have your main motor control here, tilt trim at the press of your thumb, and your 9.9 .9 kicker motor with tilt trim at the press of a thumb and turnkey ignition located right there. You have a cup holder right next to the driver and you have one back here just out of sight for a passenger. Up under the helm here you can see a 12 volt receptacle for plugging in maybe a cell phone charger or something along those lines. You have access to your fuses and down underneath there you can see one of the Jensen audio speakers. Also underneath the dash here you can see a little bit of extra storage this can be used to hold tackle or any other item that you want to stow out of the way. This is also access for your wiring for the gauge cluster as well. Your driver's seat here is equipped with a few adjustments. You have one to release so that you can swivel the chair around. This swivels around far enough that you can probably fish right here out of your driver's seat. It locks in place easily and it few selected positions and then two this has an adjustment for forward and back so that you can adjust your piloting position to be comfortable while you're driving the boat. Over here on the passenger side of the helm area you have another rotating adjustable seat as well as you have a large glove compartment here, grab handle for when the boat is in motion off to the side here you have another mount with a strap to hold a cell phone in place in case your co-pilot's using a navigation system on a phone or something along those lines. Up above that right here you have a, another drink holder, a little small area for maybe tools or setting your cell phone down out of the way. Underneath again you have a storage compartment as well for keeping gear up out of the way where you're not going to step on it and off to the side is the second Jensen audio speaker. Here in the middle of the boat you have a large locking rod locker. Underneath the rod locker is access to your trolling motor batteries as well as wiring for the 
two battery bank charger. Also here in the middle of the boat, I wanted to point out this is a full windshield. You can close this down for when you're traveling down the lake and keep the wind out. Up here in the bow of the boat, you have another position for a bucket seat. Over here, you have a large 20 gallon live well. On this side, you have a large storage capacity for bags, uh, tackle boxes, whatever you decide to throw in there. These are molded so that when you have this closed, if it's raining or water gets up in the deck, it's channeled down into the boat and out the back. Up here you've got a little bit more storage for tackle bags, tackle box, maybe a launch box. You've got your foot pedal controls for the Nincota Tarova 80 pound thrust motor. Over here you've got another small storage compartment. It's actually quite large. You could probably fit two or three bags in here. Um, up here at the bow, the very front here, you've got a control panel with plug-in for the foot pedal controls, power for your trolling motor. This switch here is actually a tilt trim switch so that you can raise or lower the motor accordingly. Here on the port side of the boat, you have the access to that live well previously mentioned. This is a 20 gallon live well here. Also on this side of the boat, you can see the rail that I spoke of earlier as well that runs all the way around so that if you want to position your fish finder or a GPS up here, that is easy access. You just move one of your mounts there. Also up here, you can see one of the bow cleats. These cleats are positioned all the way around the boat. There are four of them, two at the bow, two at the aft of the boat. They flip down so that when you're getting in and out of the boat, you're not tripping over them. Also up here, you've got a plug-in receptacle for a standard extension cord so that you can plug into your two battery bank charger and keep your trolling motor ready to go. This beautiful Angler 19 SF can be purchased from Chase Family Boat Sales in North Liberty, Iowa. Our website is chasefamilyboatsales.com. Our phone number is 319-626-3625. Please visit the website for more information, more images, and give us a call if you need any more information.